What are the kinds of debentures? Debentures may be secured or unsecured debentures. Usually debentures are secured debentures and they are normally secured by a floating charge or what is called a general charge on all the assets of the company. What is a fixed charge? If any particular asset, suppose debentures are issued against a particular uh, machinery, a particular factory, a particular unit. Then there is a fixed charge. What does this mean? This means that tomorrow if the company is to be wound up, then the proceeds which are received from the sale of this machinery or this factory or this unit will go to first pay the debenture holders. The Anything which is left only will be available to pay off other liabilities. That is a fixed charge, a charge on a particular asset. But normally debentures have a floating charge or a general charge on all the assets of the company. This means if the company is to be liquidated, the proceeds from all the assets, when we sell all the assets, the money received by sale of these assets is first used to pay the debenture holders. Only thereafter, the other creditors are paid, then the preference shareholders and finally the equity shareholders. Unsecured debentures would mean there is no such security against the debentures. They would be like creditors or trade payables or any other unsecured creditor. But I repeat, normally, normally debentures are secured. Debentures may also be convertible or non-convertible. Convertible would mean they can be converted to shares. If they cannot, they do not have an option to be converted to shares after a period of time, then they are called non-convertible debentures. Debentures may be redeemable or irredeemable. Usually debentures are redeemable debentures. They have to be repaid after 5 years or 7 years as is specified when the issue for debentures is made. Irredeemable would mean that the debenture holders would be paid only on liquidation of the company. But we repeat, normally debentures are redeemable. They have to be repaid just like any loan has to be repaid. Debentures may also be registered or bearer debentures. When they are registered, they are entered into the register of debenture holders in the books of the company. Only the person, the holder who is so registered gets interest. If they are bearer debentures, it means any person who has the certificate is entitled to the interest and entitled to the repayment when the debentures are redeemed. Debentures again may be first mortgage or second mortgage debentures. Suppose a company has issued some debentures in year one, debentures of 10 lakhs for a period of eight years. If suppose this company Again, in year 5, issues another 20 lakh debentures. It is possible that these debentures would be first mortgage debentures and these would be second mortgage debentures. What is the implication of this? This would mean that if tomorrow the company is to be wound up, then when all the assets of the company are sold, the proceeds would be used first to repay this 10 lakh since it has the first mortgage on the assets of the company. Thereafter, the money would be used, the, the remaining money on sale of assets would be used to repay the second mortgage debentures. So basically, debentures may be secured or unsecured. That is on the basis of security. It may be convertible or non-convertible depending on, on convertibility to shares. May be redeemable or irredeemable depending on 
the terms of repayment. It may be registered or bearer bonds depending on the negotiability or transferability or it may be first mortgage and second mortgage depending on the charge against the debentures.